Hello everyone, on this lesson I'm going to show how to classify conics and write down the parametrization of the curve. And second part, I'm going to show how to write down the eccentricity of the conic from the parametric equations. The equation of the conics in standard position are as shown on this table. For the ellipse, we have x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. For the parabola, we have y squared equals 4ax. And for the hyperbola, is x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equals 1. So to find the parametric equation, we need to know what type of conic we have and the equation is standard position. The parametric equations for each conic for the ellipse takes the form x equals a cosine t, y equals b sine t. For the parabola, we have x equals a t squared, y equals 2at and for the hyperbola we have x equals a sec t and the y equals b tan t so we need to find the conic in the standard position the equation i have some examples on this screen to to find the parametric equations from the equation so first is necessary to write in standard position. So I need to rearrange the equation to write the conic in a standard position. So I make the y square the subject and then dividing by 2 we have 1 over 2x square and this obviously is a parabola of the form y square equals 4ax so I need to factorize and bring the 4 out of the right, out of the right hand side and write the right hand side as 4 1 over 8 x square so in this case the a is 1 over 8 so this conic describes a parabola So since this is a parabola and the value a is 1 over 8, the parametric equations are given by x equals a t squared, y equals 2 a t. So the parametric equations are x equals 1 over 8 t squared and the y is 1 over 4 t. So y is 1 over 4 t. 2 times 1 over 8. So it is 1 over 4. This is the second equation that we're going to see and find the parametric equation so it is necessary first to see what type of conic we have so we need to rearrange it and make it in standard position standard form so we need to add 27 on both sides so we write the equation as 3x squared plus 36y squared equals 27 then dividing by 27 From this form, this, this, this conic is an ellipse with value of a equals 3 and the value of the b is 1 over 2 root 3. Therefore, the parametric equations are given by x equals 3 cosine t and y equals 1 over 2 root 3 sine t. The same we are going to do for the next example. We have 7x squared minus 4y squared equals 1. 
I need to make it in the right form to see what conic we have. So I divide by 7 the first fraction. So I have x squared over a number. So dividing by 7 the first term, so have x squared is an equivalent fraction, 1 over 7. And the second I divide by 4, I make it an equivalent fraction, y squared over 1 over 4 is equal to 1. And this describes a hyperbola with value of a equals 1 over root 7 and the value of the b is equal to 1 over 2. And according to the table, the this hyperbola has parametric equations x equals 1 over root 7 sec t and y is equal to 1 over 2 tan t and the values of the t are between minus a half pi less than a half pi and greater than a half pi and less than 3 over 2 pi The next example is to find the eccentricity of the conics from the parametric equations. First, we need to see what type of conic we have. And the x equals 4 cos t, y equals root 4 sine t, describes according to the equations on this table. So this describes an ellipse with value of a, value of the a is 4 and the value of the b is root 4. Therefore, according to the equation of the ellipse, it has x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. So the, the eccentricity has a formula 1 minus b squared over a squared. So this is a square root of 3 over 4. The next example, we have these parametric equations, x equals 5t squared and y equals 10t, and it's obvious that it can describe a parabola with value of a from the table. We see that the value of the a is 5, is the second case on the table and therefore we can find the eccentricity for the parabola is always 1. So in this case the eccentricity for all parabolas is always equal to 1. And So the parametric equations x equals minus 7 plus 4 sec t and y equals 6 plus 3 tan t. These equations parameterize a hyperbola congruent to the one in standard position with x equals 4 sec t and y equals 3 tan t. So the eccentricity of the hyperbola is equal to the e equals square root of 1 plus b square over a square and the a is equal to 4 according to the table on the left this is the third case a equals 4 and then b is equal to 3 so the eccentricity is equal to 1 plus 
9 over 16, which gives you a value of 5 over 4. So this is a lesson today. If you like the lesson, please don't forget to subscribe to see more lessons like this one. Thank you.